Hey everyone, it's Emily. Um, I'm here with another video. So this is going to be taken over multiple days. Um, this is going to be a traveling with your service dog vlog kind of style thing. Um, so today is a Tuesday. It is, I think it's June 5th. Um, it's June 5th, Tuesday, June 5th. And tomorrow, Wednesday, I am traveling with Wesley to see a very close friend who we both miss very much and so I thought I would I'm going to vlog the visit but I'm gonna make this this particular video just a travel vlog so it's gonna be all about our travel so right now I'm gonna show you what I have packed already for the journey we are taking we are driving into New York City so I can take the Amtrak from Penn Station. I have a rolling suitcase luggage. It's um, perfect size. It's, I don't know, it's like a medium. It's not too tiny, not too big. Personally, I prefer suitcases over duffel bags because I am not the strongest individual and rolling is easier even without a service dog. But now when you have a service dog, you have like an extra piece of living luggage almost. So I bring my um, suitcase and then I have my North Face backpack. I have to take them both on the train. And then the suitcase usually goes um, in front of me because I get the disability seating and the backpack I just keep with me. First, let me just talk about the tickets. So with Amtrak, if you're traveling with the service dog, select when you, it says, when it asks how many travelers, you have to select on the type of passage. It's like a scroll down menu. It's called passenger with disability. And then it takes you to a screen where it lists um, basic categories of disabilities, such as like mobility, are you, are you blind, deaf? And then it says like, uh, check here if my disability isn't listed here. So I check that. And then it scrolls down and said, it says like if you travel with a service animal and you hit yes, and then if it's a dog, it has the options for small or medium and it says if you if you have a large breed to call so they can put on your reservation so I check that he's a dog and he's a medium and then that's it for online but if you want the disability seating you have to call the Amtrak number because there's no way to get it online um, and like the reason you call for large breeds is they automatically give you disability seating but if you have a service dog and you need the disability seating they'll also give it to you um so like wes he's about a medium-sized dog um but i know that me and him would definitely feel squished in a regular seat especially because he has to be on the floor and i have my backpack and it's just i don't want to be squished like that because it'll make me feel overwhelmed and worried and it's just the it's not there are enough seats on the train that Wes and I can get one and we qualify for the seats so when I call they just said like I need to add disability seating onto my reservation and they already saw that I was um, bringing a service animal and the lady asked me she asked me what kind of service dog he was, like what he did, and I just said he's medical alert. And yeah, so then she marked it. So getting into what I'm bringing, it is a little warmer here. It's not going to be too hot there. I think it's supposed to be in the 70s and like low 80s. So obviously I brought a whole bunch of things for myself. Um, so first, um, here's my e-collar charger, my mini educator charger. Definitely need that. Wes is wearing his uh, mini educator right now. We're charging it overnight and then he'll wear it on the train tomorrow. I'm bringing these two toys because even though the person, it's a surprise, you probably already know who it is, but even though the person has a dog and has many toys, service dog, not dog. Um, I don't know, I'm bringing these just in case. Then my luggage also has the sides split in half, so one side is mine, one side is Wesley's. We have our cooling coat from Made by D on Etsy. This is the lavender one. We have not tried it out yet because I just received it in the past few days and it hasn't been hot enough here where we've done anything in the heat, so 
Okay. Then I'm bringing, I'm bringing these three bandanas. These two are Atomic Hound. This one is one I made myself. Um, and he's wearing a different one tomorrow. I'm bringing our Atomic Hound little vest. It's really lightweight and it clearly says he's in training. Um, I'm bringing this just in case it's really hot and we're going somewhere outside because this is his best vest for the summertime right now. And all of his vests say in training, but I feel like this one is more obvious. Oh, I'm also bringing this little bandana. I'm bringing this collar. He's wearing lavender one I'll show you what he's wearing tomorrow but I'm bringing this one because we might he might be getting wet so when that day comes I'm putting him in this it's a little more industrial and it's fine if it gets dirty in my suitcase I'm bringing this bag of treats I'm bringing a regular handheld leather leash i really love this leash it was uh, given to me by my current trainer it was very generous of him and i i really like it i just wish it was hands free i'm bringing his rough wear boots we have his prong this is one i also got from my trainer um we're hoping to invest in a herm springer by the time the summer ends we have our Kurgo pet first aid kit. This is what it looks like. It has everything you could possibly need, except vet wrap, which I have to get. I'm bringing two pairs of socks and this little paw bomb by the corner handmade. It's not my favorite paw bomb. My favorite one is um, bag bomb. It's the square container. But this works fine and it's perfect for travel. Okay, and then I'm bringing this flea and tick kicker spray because Wes is on medication for it. And he has the collar, but this summer has been already really bad and my vet says to do anything that I can to prevent ticks because it's just been awful. We have our Kurgo kibble holder which I love it this has I needed to bring seven servings of his food but I pack an extra so there's eight in here which is it's around eight cups and it's still like mostly empty and it, it's much bigger I just rolled it down this also has his digestive supplement that he gets every night it's just probiotics I have my little measuring cup because I want to make sure I'm feeding him the right amount and then I have this little little metal bowl for his kibble. He eats from a slow feeder at home. Um, it's just one with something in the middle, but he's not a really fast eater, so it's fine that I don't bring it. And then the house we are going to is going to have plenty of water bowls, so don't need to worry about that. And now to my backpack. First, I haven't put this in a Ziploc, but I'm gonna take one of these uh, pork strips. It's just, the ingredient says 100% pork strip, if you can see. So on my, Wes, down. Good boy. On my backpack, I do have our collapsible bowl for water on the train. Um, I have a few law cards. I have extra poop bags in my backpack. I'm bringing an extra bag of treats in my bag. And then I have uh, paper towels and wet ones just in case for accidents. Because I feel like the one time I'm not gonna bring them, that's when, God forbid, he has an accident, but. And then finally for his stuff, I just am going to be wearing my treat pouch. We have bags here. I have two rolls of bags in the back pouch. Never have too many bags. I have more law cards. And then I filled up our little treat plastic bag. I keep them in a plastic bag because I seal it every night so the soft ones stay soft. I save a lot more treats that way. Um, so yeah, I just filled that up. And I'll be wearing this tomorrow.
Hey guys, so we're just about to hop in the car and drive on to Penn Station. Go potty. Go potty. Go potty, fun. Go potty. seated on the train before everyone else because we have the disability seating um, so one of the workers was nice enough to help me with my bag so we went down the elevator and he loaded us onto the train before everyone else roller this mess watching everyone the 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 the